Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Today we're going to talk about Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And the reason I'm talking about Rudolph is because they're going to auction the actual puppets off. And originally Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer was created by Robert Louis May. Uh, he created it for Montgomery Wards to promote um, the store on Christmas holidays. And there's our beloved Rudolph right there with his nose uh, so bright. But while I was looking through the uh, auction, uh, Profiles in History, I'm a big movie prop auction fan. I discovered that they're going to auction off the real Rudolph puppet and all the other puppets to go along with them. And uh, I'm just really fascinated that, wow, this thing finally turned up. A lot of these things, they just get put in storage for years or somebody's private collection and they just collect dust and um, what I noticed about Rudolph here is and he's in really good shape uh, he doesn't appear to have deteriorated over the years unlike some of the movie props or TV props I've seen in, in the past and like gremlins for instance you know those movie props a lot of those have deteriorated but uh, going through the uh, websites here there's just a brief history of Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer and how he was created back in 1939 by Robert Louis May and of course here's Robert Louis May with uh, Rudolph and you just kind of scroll down this is the pamphlet they created to promote uh, Rudolph in a comic book here, of course. That's really cool. Kind of like their superhero for the holidays. <laughs> so, there's just a lot of factual material about, you know, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, if you care to look. But going back to the uh, website, it's called um, ProfilesInHistory.com. And here's the front page, and then there's the... Um, the link to it and everything. I'll, I'll also have the link on the bottom of my description if you want to actually click and see the auction yourself. The auction will start on November 13th if you're really interested in buying the actual one and only Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I believe they might have a few of the uh, Rudolphs on there that were used in the uh, TV movie back in 1964 for the holidays. And it, this is just kind of the uh, description that Profiles has uh, gathered on all these puppets. And it's just really fascinating to see how they came about. And here's Burl Ivey's, you know, he's singing that song, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Actually, that's the one I remember the most because, you know, they played at the most during the holidays uh the first rudolph the red nosed reindeer song was created by gene altry uh he was the one who created the first rudolph song but getting back to rudolph here are the actual puppets in the catalog you could also upload the pdf catalog of the actual auction of uh, rudolph the red nosed reindeer but it's just really cool <clears throat> and I believe he stands around 12 inches tall. And, uh, he, of course, he's by Santa Claus. I believe they're auctioning all the puppets. Here are all the pictures. And they all they always remind me of, um, <coughs> of the um, actual window figures you used to see back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and 90s. And they actually still kind of have them today. But the little displays that would move the little animatronic displays in the window that was really big in the holidays and here's Santa Claus in his original splendor there he looks like he made it through time as well he's not deteriorating like uh, you know the uh, gremlins I've seen like in the past they've just all deteriorated and fallen apart and they look scary looking too but here's Rudolph again there's just a lot of pictures there's the different variations, and here's the person that's crafting Rudolph, and I believe his fur is made out of the yak fur material. 
and it will just keep scrolling down. It's just really cool. I hope whoever wins the auction for Rudolph will maybe display him like in a museum or something. It would be really cool to see these because I just remember this thing when I was a kid. The movies, the TV movie every Christmas and brought a lot of great memories and everything. You know, and to see it up at close is just would be really, really cool. And there's this little light. I'm sure that's a little light bulb inside there. <laughs> and it just keeps scrolling on. You can see the people actually creating the Rudolphs. It looks like kind of like a toy factory, but this was for the TV movie. And you could do your own window display if you win these. Think about it. You'd be like the talk of the, the neighborhood. That would just be really fascinating to own, you know, the, the Rudolph that was in the TV movie. You know. And of course they made tons of these things. Toys and everything is just huge. So again, thank you so much for watching my video. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Take care.